<laughs> Friends, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a new pedal from MXR, the Power 50. This is different. It's quirky. It's unique. And since this is meant to replicate the amplifier base of Tom Morello's sound, quirky, different, unique are just a few things that you would expect out of this. Um, first of all, you know, I'm sure you can take a look here and see how these controls are set up on here. Very odd. I've got a lot of cables plugged into here. Uh, the delay is not coming from this. The delay is coming through the effects loop. To try to make some sense out of this, let's take a step back and tell you what it is we're trying to replicate here. What we have in this tiny little box here is basically the 50 watt JCM 800, it's the 2205 version, which is important, we'll get to that in a minute. But it's a Marshall 50 watt JCM 800 amp that Tom has been using since 1988, I think he said. Um, it is a quirky one in the Marshall world to begin with because a lot of people think of the JCM 800s as the original master volume Marshalls. And that's not really the case. The predecessor to this and to the Marshall that it came from, the 2205, actually started as the JMP 2203. That was the original master volume lead amp. During the mid to late 80s, they decided to make it a channel switching amp. And in doing that, they uh, moved the tone stack around as far as how it relates to the preamp and power amp tubes. They added a diode clipping stage which we'll get to that in a minute too as we go through this and some of the quirks of it have to do with that. It's a very, very cool pedal. Uh, one of the things that you see Tom do in the MXR demo is he shows how he can get his tone through basically any amplifier he plugs into, uh, plus his uh, son's little Fender Frontman Champ amplifier which is very cool, but, and one of the reasons it can do that is because this is a very good emulation of the Marshall 2205 head, and it's not a modeling, uh, as far as digital modeling. Uh, it, this one is done totally with analog, uh, with MOSFET circuitry, and they did a great job of capturing the weirdness and the oddities of this particular head. Let's get into it. I'm going to stop talking about it. I've got, uh, I've got that delay turned off now. Now, I'm going to show you just what my tone is. Playing through the Fillmore 50, I've got to tweak just a little bit for this pedal. I've got uh, middle and treble at 12 o'clock, bass a little bit below 12 o'clock. But anyway, this is the bass tone before I kick this pedal on. So, just a little bit of grit on it, but everything else you heard coming from this box. This is such a uniquely voiced amplifier that it will impose its personality onto anything you plug it into. Uh, so far, I've plugged it into a Mesa Combo, um, the, a little Fishman acoustic amp. It does the job, no matter what you plug it into. So yes, it has a very strong personality and it will overpower anything you plug it into. But let's take a look at what it's doing here. Okay, once again, I'm gonna try to stop talking so much. But... That's bass guitar tone with nothing. Turn this on.
Now, as you can hear, it's got a lot of grit, a really good low mid-range thump to it, which was one of the nicest things about the JCM 800 series. It was kind of like the transition before uh, the JCM 900s just, you know, kind of went in that army of chainsaws direction for their tone. I know some people love them. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I like this because it kind of evolved out of the Plexi, obviously, and it still has that low end thump that made the Plexi just something special. But. I mean, you can hear what it's doing there. Uh, now, as far as these controls here, I'm going to set everything back to, except the volume, I'm going to set everything back to 12 o'clock here. Has a presence control over here as well. Uh, in case anybody can't see these controls clearly, this tiny little knob over here is a presence control. We've got a master volume, bass, middle, treble, and preamp gain. And we also have a dedicated effects loop. One of the things that I thought would have been nice was that the effects loop would, you would have your effects there handy, even if your amp wasn't on, but no, that unfortunately is not the case. Okay, so in order for your effects loop to be active, the circuitry has to be engaged there. So let me turn this delay back off. Now, did you hear this? It's hard for me to call it anything other than horrible sound when these controls are all up at 12 o'clock. We've lost so much of the character that we had before in the mid-range. One of the reasons like this, you can still hear that we've got, we've got that good low end thump on here, but because of the changes that they made between the 2204 series and the 2205 and the 2210, we now have a diode clipping circuit in here that I really, didn't like it in the early Marshalls when they first introduced it. It adds a very just raspiness and a not pleasing type of distortion. Very aggressive. It may be one of the things that, that Tom appreciates in his sound because on his amp, these are the settings he uses. He's got the treble almost dimed, the bass and mids, down just a little bit. Let's take a listen to this. Now, with all the effects he uses, that type of clarity and forward push is probably exactly what he's looking for for a bass sound. But for me and for everybody else who had one of these amps back in the day, we knew that the only way to get rid of that buzz in the top end from the diode circuitry was to turn the treble down to about one or two and use the middle and presence controls. To dial in that treble you know, your high end back in the signal. With the treble out, not only do you get that mid-range push back in your face again, uh, it also gets rid of that diode clipping sound that comes right at the frequency where that treble control is. So, if you grab this pedal, as you can see, you can get some amazing tones out of it. But if you grab it, put everything at 12 o'clock, you're probably gonna walk away from it. Experiment with it a little bit. And if you happen to be one of those people that had a 2205 back in the day, walk in there and you dial up your sound that you used to have, it's gonna come out of this. It's a pretty amazing Bach. 
So I'm going to crank it back up here. We'll just go through uh, a little bit of what we can do with the gain and volume here. Now, the gain control not only you know increases the amount of distortion that you've got, which is kind of an obvious thing, but it's also where the character of the amp is really coming through. I'm going to on off this. Not really affecting it as far as overpowering the Mesa's sound with its sound, but as you increase the gain and especially the mid-range, the mid-range, just like it was on the amplifiers, is very interactive with the amount of gain you get on this. So, you know, be aware of that as well. But down here with the gain, now if the gain is off, you won't get anything. It's just like turning your preamp volume control off on the, the uh, master volume marshals. So, as we bring it in there. Now, the volume is going to go up a whole lot, so we're going to need to compensate by turning this volume down a little bit as I turn the gain up here. And again, once I hit 50% on here, you hear that diode nastiness coming back in. So I am going to dial my treble back down, get my presence back up here. See if we can get a little bit more gain out of it. Let's just push it all the way. Wow. This is a really cool pedal. I had to dig into it before I really started loving it because, you know, just as I said, I turned it on, set everything to 12 o'clock, and I was just like, what the <coughs> is this? Treat it like you would one of the JCM 800s, especially one of the later models with the diode clipping. Dial in your tone the same way, and it is a thing of beauty. It'll take you right back to that realm. The MXR Power 50. The whole idea is to emulate Tom Morello's amplifier and with the effects loop included in here so that you've got exactly that reaction between preamp and power amp that he does. Uh, and just an aside here, in case you don't know, Tom's entire pedal board, including any distortion he may use, his wah-wah pedal, Everything is in the effects loop. It's one of the reasons for that unique sound that he's got. Uh, like the wah is actually coming after the preamp distortion and before the power amp distortion. It's things that you would never think of doing, but that's why we need people like Tom in the guitar world. But uh, definitely check this out. The MXR Power 50 emulation of the JCM 800 and particularly the 2205 series. So if you've got any questions about this or any other piece of gear, give the people a call here at More Guitars. They will steer you toward the perfect amp, guitar, pedal, for whatever tone you're chasing. They're the experts on every brand they sell and they would love to talk to you and get you set up with the tone and the guitar, the amp you've been dreaming about. So give them a call. Till next time, everybody stay safe out there. Have a great day. <laughs>